Okay. All right, so what's your name? Honest. Honest. Yeah. How old are you? 27. Where are you from? Uh, Tucson. What are you doing out here in Phoenix? Uh, working, hustling. Hustling? Yeah, networking. Okay. Yeah. So what's your current situation? Are you homeless? Um, not right now, no. Yeah, I got like a shit of your daddy that can put me in an apartment or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, he's like, like in his mid-70s and, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got a key, I come and go as I please. He knows what I be doing in the streets and stuff, so, you yeah. know what I'm saying? He lets me do me, but I always got that place to go, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? And then I have, a, like, another place, a couple other places that I be going, you know what I'm saying? If I don't want to be there, I'll go over there. Um, just like, you know what I'm saying, uh, male friends that are like older men, they're single and fucking, you know what I'm saying, like to give me what I want. Whatever. Where did you meet the sugar daddy? Was it online or out here? Um, actually I met him through another dude. So I met him through a friend of his, like this dude had picked me up when I was walking down the street working or whatever. And then, um, I was in an argument with like the roommate I was staying with at that time. And he was like, Hey, I got this. my homie. And let you stay over there, or let you stay over there for a couple nights, whatever. And when I went over there, we kind of just clicked. And one day he just gave me a key with a little ribbon. It's for you. You come and go. I was like, all right, that's cool. Before that though, um, I was like in hotels. You know what I'm saying in and out of hotel, in and out of hotel, in and out of hotel, and all over the place. Tempe, Mesa, in Phoenix. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty much what y'all doing. And if I didn't have to hotel money, you know what I'm saying? I might like post up at like a trash spot or somewhere. You know what I'm saying? We'll be a bando? turning out, turning. Out. What's bando for people that don't know what that is? Okay, so what well, we have bandos where that are like abandoned houses or whatever. So like people get evicted or things like that. Lots of times if people get evicted from their house or whatever and then it's boarded up or whatever, they'll go back and break in their own house, you know what I'm saying? Like stay in their own spot. Okay. Um, but I like to go into like apartments that are like vacant houses that haven't been rented out yet, you know what I'm saying? And you just go and see if like the doors or whatever open or you know what I'm saying, maybe you might know somebody, you know what I'm saying, that might like you know what I'm saying? Leave a window unlocked or something, a little bit, something like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't trying to get nobody in trouble, but it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's not always about what you know, it's sometimes about who you know, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, like, so I, I like saying th those ones because they're clean. You have shower, electricity, things like that, AC and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you don't have to deal with, like, you know what I'm saying? Junkies running in and out, like that. You know what I'm saying? So you don't tell nobody. You know what I'm saying? You post up in there, whatever. And then I got friends that can have, like, access to, like, nice, rentals too you know what i'm saying like like in the north side or whatever i've been in some houses like big houses you know what I'm saying four or five bedroom houses you have kitchen islands in the kitchen stuff go in there shower eat or take a nap or whatever and then just dip out you know so you have your own apartment right now though uh yeah i stay with does somebody right now right now i stay with some somebody yeah does your sugar sugar daddy does he stay in that apartment or yeah is it just for yourself no he stays there okay yeah he stays there and like he has other females that are coming in and out of there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They have stuff there or whatever. Oh, so he does so, the same thing for different women. Yeah, a lot of them, probably a dozen that I know of. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, so he lets them stay there. But, no, they don't stay there. They're not allowed to stay there. Like, I stay there. Like, okay. I can stay there. I can sleep on the bed. I have a couch. You know what I'm saying? Like, I stay there. I clean. You know what I'm saying? I help clean and stuff like that. Or he cooks. He'll buy me stuff. You know, the snacks I like. Things like that. So you're like the they, girl. They, um, yeah, probably like his main, the main one. Yeah. Okay. They, I have a key. You know what I'm saying? I can come and go. I have a key mm -hmm. to the apartment. They don't have a key to the apartment. They're not allowed to come and go into the apartment. You know what I'm saying? They got to ask, like, when they come in, like, can I have something to eat? Can I have something to drink? And you know I just go in there and get whatever I want. But I help put the groceries and all the stuff in there. So, yeah. Okay. And he's 70 years old? Uh, 70 or 72 or something like that. Yeah. You don't mind that? No, he's awesome. I love him to death. Yeah. We've never ha we've never slept together or nothing like He's never asked me for sex. We never. He's never asked me to kiss him. Nothing like he just. We're like best friends. Like so what's he fucking. In it for him? Um. I don't know. To be honest, I think he just took a liking to me. Probably my personality. I'm real just, bubbly like, somebody and. Somebody that uh, needs companionship, just someone to spend time with or something. Um. I think he just like I said. I think he just took a liking to me, like how I am, my personality. You know what I'm saying? Like. I'm real upbeat, you know what I'm saying? I can go like walk in a room where people are like sad and be like, oh, what's up? You know what I'm saying? Fucking turn people up and then next, you know, everybody's in a good mood, having a good ass time. Right. I just have that kind of energy, you know what I'm saying? I see. Yeah, people love to be around me, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Even people that don't like me, like, like me, you know what I'm saying? Low key, like you would tell they don't like me, they might like act like they don't like me and talk like they don't like me, you know what I'm saying? But like, like, um, you know what I'm saying? But like, I know they still like me because like, 
we might, I might bump into somebody another time where there's not people, those people around or like a different situation and stuff, you know, and they'll speak to me and I'll be thinking like, damn, you like me or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Or they'll compliment me, oh, I like your shirt, I like your shoes, or I like your hair or something, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I knew you like me, you know what I'm saying? But some people hate somebody, some, there's actually people that hate somebody so much that they actually like them. <laughs> Believe it or not, it's true. So I'm like, maybe you could actually like somebody so much you hate them. So oh, that is true. You can do why that. Why did too. you come from Tucson all the way out here to Phoenix? No, I didn't come from Tucson to Phoenix. I came from Ohio to Phoenix. Okay. What were you yeah, doing I haven't in lived Ohio? in Tucson since 2007. What were you doing out there in Ohio? Oh, they have been all over the place Ohio, Pennsylvania, Michigan, Texas, uh, New Mexico, California. Is uh, it for work? Oi. Sorry. Um. I, I like what do you do traveling? Like, what do you travel uh, for? Whatever. Sightsee, meet people, network. I like to do network. Do you travel yourself or yeah. do you go with somebody? Um, a lot of times I go by myself, but if people invite me, I'll, I'll definitely be like, yeah, let's go. You'll let's just do dip it. out anywhere. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, come on. I keep my ID on me, you know what I'm saying? Make sure I got my ID, make sure I got my, you know what I'm saying, porn stuff, and you know what I'm saying? Keep money, you know what I'm saying, emergency money or whatever. Sometimes they, my sense out of 10, they be like, you don't even got to worry about the money, just bring yourself and your ID, you know what I'm saying? It's like, so we could fly or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I've had people willing to tell, tell me that they'll give me a passport, and, you know what I'm saying, to take me to other places. So to I'm like, all right. Country? Yeah. You've had offers to go to another country? Yeah. You're not scared though? Um, I wouldn't say scared. But it's kind of like, oh, you get a little nervous or whatever. It hasn't actually happened yet because I didn't actually go get the passport. But I'm thinking, like, the next time somebody asks me, I'm going to jump on that opportunity. Yeah. Yeah, because now Where that I'm like. They, like, um, offered to take you um, to Mexico or? I've been to Mexico. You've been to Mexico? Yeah, I've been to Mexico a couple of times. With friends or what? My mom. Okay. Family. My mom and my sister. Like, my Mexican? family goes to Mexico Mexican a lot. American? You, you, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm not fluent in Spanish. Um, I've been on the streets since I was like 13, 14 years old. So like, um, yeah, really 14. You've been on the streets since 14? Yeah. How does that happen? Um, I just didn't like my mom's rules, I guess. I don't know. I thought it was too cool for school. And I don't know, I just do stuff differently than my family, you know what I'm saying? I learned how to get hustle at a young age by the little books they give you at school when you gotta go around and ask people to buy candy and yeah. give you money. I was like, I learned how to do that and count the money. Buy this money. I was like, ooh, you know what I'm saying? That's a hustle. You can do that. You know what I'm saying? And from there, it just took oh, off. Was you your childhood saying? growing up? Did you have both mom and dad? Uh, no, I had my mom and my stepdad. Okay. How yeah. was it growing up? Um, was it a good childhood or did you have any traumatic experiences? To be honest, I don't remember a lot of my childhood. Okay. Like, I don't remember a lot of my childhood at all. So I say, because I don't remember a lot of my childhood at all, it might not have been the best, best experience. But, like, I love my mom. I don't have anything against her. I love my your stepdad. stepdad. Was he cool or was he? Oh, yeah, he was cool. He was okay. like this. Yeah, I love my stepdad. All right, Even to this day, like, I love my stepdad. You know what I'm saying? So I always pray for him and my mom, you know? Yeah. Actually, I pray for my stepdad more than my mom. Is but, yeah. You still, you still have your mom? <laughs> yeah. What does she think you're doing now? Um, to be honest, I don't know. Because uh, I tried to, like, make amends with her or whatever. But she had her feelings and for. Uh, we like bumped heads and she told me she was gonna do something like she was like I'm gonna change my number so nobody can't ever get a hold of me or whatever and I didn't believe her and I went to call her one day I was in the hospital I had to get surgery and sure enough her number was changed so I ain't seen my mom in him since uh May and uh what is it June July and um in June I found out her number was changed and she also moved from the address that I knew she had that so I, I don't cry a lot, but I actually cried about that because I was kind of like, damn, I think my mom, like, abandoned me, <laughs> me for the rest down, of my life huh? now. She just yeah. Out? yeah, pretty much. I mean, I'm 37 now, so I'm 27. <laughs> but like, oh, ah. oh, we got her. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're how old again? Anyway, so yeah, my mom, uh, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, maybe she's going through stuff, you know what I'm saying? She was like yeah. into church and she works and you know what I'm saying my brothers and sisters they all have good jobs they all graduated high school yeah. you know what I'm saying they got families the they got cars like I mean for the most part I all had good jobs in the past I've had cars I've had my own house I've had my own apartments you know what I'm saying I made money I was a stripper for 10 years you know what I'm saying so I was used to quick fast easy money you know what I'm saying making 200 dollars minimum a day you know what I'm saying that's minimum in four hours you know what I'm saying so it's like I used to have it pretty much anything everything I wanted and I really didn't even want for a lot of stuff you know what I'm saying because I wasn't hip to like 
a lot more that was out there in the world. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm learning about other things, and I'm like, now I'm kind of like, damn, I'd like to try out. I'd like to do this. I'd like to do that. You know what I'm saying? But you need money to do those things. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? And my life went in another direction, so I don't have the, all, all right. the so money for that. Let you know? me ask you about the track out here. Mm -hmm. Um, at what age did you start doing the date? Unfortunately, I can't put the rest of this interview on YouTube. But if you want to see the rest of the interview, go ahead and subscribe to my locals. The link's going to be in the description or in the comment section.